he trusts you to take him on the boat. An autistic child that screams, he trusts you to take him on the boat. Yeah, he, he uh, in spite of it, he is, you know. He trusts you. Yeah, which is surprising because. Give me another example. Another, another, another example of he trusts me. He, you know, sometimes hugs me. Okay. So, feel it. It's almost hard to feel it. Well, because I think to myself, it's like, you know, you get a sip of something that you'll never be able to get a whole we're, drink. We're just moving slow with this. Right. He hugs you. Right. So, not to acknowledge that and experience it and allow it to have its life in you right now is disrespectful to you, to him. He hugs you. That's the reality. He thanks me. Sometimes it surprises me the way he does. You know, like he'll thank me for something like, you know, thanks for having this tube in the pool. Oh, okay. You're welcome. I don't know, you know. Well, I'm inviting you to know. He says, thank you for having this in the pool. For you to hear him, take it in. He's letting you know who you are. He's grateful. Hmm. Yeah, the staying in the present part is the trick, right? Well, it gets easier and easier to do um, the more you question what you're believing. How, when you were coming to this, did you were you able to change your body? You said you were too Tony or too ten, whatever you were. Well, I've I've heard people say, you know, I did the work and smoking quit me. I did the work and drinking quit me. I did the work and food quit me. It's just and 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 don't expect it. Don't expect because, it. Don't expect but it. But you didn't do a specific thing. It just was a natural. It just. You know, it, it it. You came into balance. I came into my mind came into balance. I was a very heavy smoker. I picked up a cigarette and and it was like. Like I'd never seen it before in my, it's like, and I saw the smoke going through my lungs and going, I mean, I tried so hard to want that cigarette and I couldn't make it happen. It was insane. And before the work, it's like I always tried to convince myself it was a terrible thing, a hurtful thing, an insane thing to do, but it's as though my mind was clear enough, it just got it got it. It really got it. You know, and it's like that. Did you um, notice the change of your food? Did you know? Oh. Were you, was it an effort or it just like you all of a sudden, you know, you didn't want a ring ding? If I, I would, I would, if I ate meat, the strange things started to happen. It, it's like my tongue would just kind of bleed right down the center. And it it showed me. If of course I was projecting it all, but it showed me not to do that. And then, um, I mean, there were all kinds. I had all. I had. I projected all kinds of help. People call it divine intervention, but I, Rosie, I couldn't bear. I could not bear the lack of authenticity that. <laughs> That I, I get it. You sure do. No, I feel it. I mean, I totally feel it. And and to see someone living it, and then sharing it for free. You know, I mean, so many self help or motivational people. I question their intent, and I I suppose that you know. I don't know if that's right or wrong, but I do. And um, when it's free, <laughs> when, you know, when something is true and real and has worked for you and you, you do not, you know, claim ownership over this. Yeah. 
This is not, this is, it's almost like you're the window. You've cleaned the window so the light can come through you mm-hmm. and other people are warmed by that and eventually they clean their own window. Yeah, because it doesn't matter what I say. Eventually, you know, and how true it rings in them. Uh, it's a help and it's not enough. It's like we have to realize for ourselves. And I love that setup because there is zero dependency in it. And this work is about 100% responsibility, taking responsibility for our own thinking, our own truths, our own happiness, our own evolution, our own, our own. You know, I talk about the three kinds of business, only three kinds of business. And Your all business, world. someone else's business, and God's yeah. business. Yeah. And, and, and that sometimes, Katie, that really knocks me on my ass. Oh. The first, you know, I think breakdown, or if you want to call it that, breakthrough, the first crack that was quite visible in uh, my adult life was Columbine. I was literally undone by it. Yeah. And, uh, and then um, 9-11, and then Katrina. And the oil spill. It's like, when the oil spill happened, I thought to myself, will I survive this? Yeah, yeah. Will I survive this? And I realize intellectually it is not happening to me. And the concept that that is God's business, not mine, has given me solace. Yeah. And, And in that solace, you know, what can I do from here? What power do I have? Well... I have a vote, you know, I have, um, I have a computer, I've got email, there are organizations I can support, but it ceases to come out of anger and that ego that I know mind, and it, it just, oh my, it's, it's the unlimited <laughs> The free mind, the unlimited mind, there is nothing that we cannot get accomplished here on Earth. Nothing. Nothing. We're going to take a break. More with Byron Katie and me uh, right here on Rosie Radio. Rosie Radio. This is I'm talking with Byron Katie, who uh, is a pretty amazing person. You should Google her. Um, I, I saw on, on your videos again on YouTube, um, you know, people who talk about global issues like race. I saw Ray Don Chong talking about race and racism and, and the injustice and, and how, um, for me, like injustice is crippling. And, you know, how after events, because I've been blessed with an abundance financially, right? I would throw money at things, right? As if that was going like like a million, a million. Just keep giving, right? It's a help. It's a it's a help, but it's not enough for you. Not only is it not enough, and then when it continues, it does not assuage my anxiety. Exactly. And then I am left angry that why aren't people doing more? Why is this happening? And I can spiral into you know. And I was trying to apply the four questions Mm -hmm. to those things and and it's and when motives are running the work doesn't work when the answers, motives are running oh it, the work doesn't work because we're our answers are coming out of what we're so sure of right so we're not we're not tapping into a, a source of lightness we're just um well it's that arguing just, with reality mm-hmm. i'm going to argue with the fact that there's an oil spill there's an oil spill and it's all for you Right, it's and and I need to stop it. Mm-hmm. It's interesting. It's pretty, um, you know, it's it's transformative. I know you know this. Do you ever ask mm-hmm. yourself why this happened to you? Well, you know, I have um, I have funny responses to that. It's like because uh, I'm the one that could be trusted with it, mm. and that's why you have your job. Yeah, right. I know. Isn't yeah. that hard to swallow sometimes? No, well, for me no. it is. It's 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 uh, not when you think of. Uh, of that little boy, you know, that little nine-year-old, mm-hmm. he trusts you. And he also trusts you, you know, like he, he trusts you in other ways. He trusts you to scream at him when he's screaming. And he trusts that. And you're trusting you to scream at him 
when he screams. It's just not working for you. And right. especially with autism, you know, it's, it's like we're not happy till they're, they pop out of their bubble into our insanity. Right. And, that's, and, you know. And when he's screaming, you know, I just get such a, a, a joy out of just, you know, just just being so present with child with this child is what what comes out after that he may be trying to get something just amazing out but it's all for you well that's how his mother is with him yeah and it's uh you know uh, very humbling to watch someone who is able and you know why does she have six children of varying special needs because Mm -hmm. She can, because mm-hmm, she right? can, and then I always think, but I can't, and her response has always been, "But here we are." But here we are. That's right. Here, here you are. And she so, does the work, I think, without knowing it. Yeah, which is annoying. Yeah, you know, everyone doesn't need the work. Just some, you know, and there's some of us that do. And, mm, very challenging. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but uh, ultimately, freedom is the result. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it takes stillness, you know. It's it takes stillness to fill in that judge your neighbor worksheet, and it takes and uh, you know people listening. It's it's free on my site. You can just download it. You don't have to sign up for anything, newsletter, nothing. You just it's no, yours. I, yeah, you and, just and that was I was having issues with um, picking my face with popping pimples, and mm-hmm. and um, I, I really want to stop. Really, uh, Tracy saying you have to stop hurting yourself. But I never viewed it as that, right? Yeah. But it is. Mm-hmm. So I see that. in trying to not, that's how I found you. Mm. I was Googling, well, how, who could help me understand how to get a handle on not mm. hurting myself? Yeah. Because whether it's a baseball bat to my hand at the age of 10, yeah. or picking my face till it bleeds yeah. in the mirror, yeah. where you, you can, you know, uh, rationalize, well, I had a pimple and I had to do that mm-hmm. and I have rosacea. And mm-hmm. This doctor I went to because I had some wound again and she said, oh, you have to just stop picking. I was like, what? She's like, oh, that's from picking. I go, no, it's not. It's from, you know, denial, man. Yeah. Oh, that's a big mountain, yeah. right? But when you're, when you're faced with, here's your choice, learn or die, right? Faith mm-hmm. or fear. Well, there's something worse than death. It's like learn or suffer. Learn or suffer. Yeah. yeah. Death has a terrible reputation. You know, what we believe about death is its reputation, but suffering, that's what, that's what we don't want. How are I your mean, grandchildren? They're fabulous. 